Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel, some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general uh, love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself. And of course, just um, there's vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. As I always say, please, whoops, let me grab that. Please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And we go. And leave what doesn't. While I'm there. And of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around at some time. You know, there could be just messages for a while that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just uh, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in. There, there might be ex extra clarification cards, guys. Um, but yeah, I'll take these in and I'll be back. So Virgo, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up as this being your side, personally, you didn't over here. But you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, feel free to check out your other uh, readings for the month, guys, which should be pinned in the corner as I speak. All right, so this is, I'm going to start with this person because this person was thinking, we got the, the Ten of Swords here. So there's this level of thinking around them was. I say was because this is what they was thinking. There was this being, this this end. It's like they thinking that things are coming to an end with you guys simply because something's changed with the Five of Pentacles there, which is causing this person to think that. And you're like, uh-uh, nope, I'm not even going to accept that. With the two, with the two of Swords there, you're like, I'm not going to accept that. I'm not going to even believe that take that on in my thinking you know we're going to push through this and we're going to use, use this as an opportunity to do something new create something new and you're taking action in order for you to you know inspire that or engage in in that way of thinking you're just not wanting to acknowledge that this could be the end of your relationship with this person as much as yes there's confusion there with the seven of cups but you're walking through that would be a it's like yes i've mostly confused about this I feel a bit confused about this but I'm, I'm working through that working through that even for some of you I would go so far as to say maybe for some of you you're using work as a distraction from that confusion that's for some of you just going back to this person as much as they was thinking that this could come to an end because things have changed there's still a lot of love there still a lot of love there but it's like we've got the night of cups there which is a very much a slow moving cautious type of energy so yes there's love there but there's a bit of cautiousness there with that which brings us to where we are now like you know yeah your focus is showing up as the sick so there is still this focus on moving forward coming away from whatever is happening whatever change this is moving away from that and just focusing on moving forward focusing on moving ahead, moving away from um, the dramas and the, the, the cracks that were developed or the cracks that was caused for whatever reason. Something that you're not sharing with this person, and I feel like it's more to do with just how you think or what you're thinking about this, you know, as much as you're not wanting to acknowledge that, you know, certain things have gone down in this relationship. You're still feeling trapped by it. You wouldn't share that though. It's not something you're sharing. I feel like this is very much something you're keeping to yourself with the seven and the eight of swords there. Eight of swords represents being trapped mentally, um, but self-imposed thoughts though. Something that you can actually release yourself from. Yeah, we do have that Empress cards, which kind of overshadows 
or, or at least I would say shows where you're heading or what you're focusing on. The Empress talks about the birthing of something, the creation of something. So again, we're going back to this Ace of Wands, this opportunity to create something new, move out of this situation. You're not going to, you're not accepting that this, this connection could come to an end. You're just not accepting that. It's not a, a, a possibility for you. You know, we got the night of, um, I'm going to pull on that one more time because this, we do have that five, which talks about overcoming, overcome, ah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, all right, it makes sense. It's just mirroring kind of what you're you're thinking, this uh, cautiousness as well, this, um, how do I put that? It's not. It's not something that's going to stop you. It's more about you feeling a slight hesitation. But again, we've got the five on top of that. It's about overcoming that, coming out on top when it comes to those feelings, overcoming that. There is this persistency, like this persistent energy or persistent focus when it comes to you moving out of this, not accepting. And I love it because of the message that it's showing as well, which we'll get to in a minute. Your person, your person is, is they're, they're in, they're in the relationship. They're still here, but they are going through challenging times with the nine. You know, this person has gone through a lot. I don't feel like they've shared everything, but they've definitely gone through some challenging times, still holding on to this, but still very much trapped in their thinking when it comes to certain things around this relationship, still very much loyal to this. But it's like, I want to get my strength back with the Empress. I want to be more in my power. And I'm just not there yet. I'm just not, I'm just not there yet. So it seems like, I feel like saying, feels like you're experiencing. Should I say that? Experiencing, is it, is it experiencing? I don't want to use the word the shell of a person, but that's what's coming up for me. It's the shell of a person. This person is not in their power. This person has been broken down a bit. They're tired. They, they've, they've traveled a long journey and it's like, I'm tired. It's that type of thing. They're needing to get their power back. Yes, they still have this strong emotional connection to you because it's a deep spiritual connection with the high priestess card, but this person has been beaten up a bit. They have. They have. They have. And it's more to do with, I don't feel like it's to do with so much their, um, yeah, I, I guess it has an impact on their emotions, but it's more about their values or their morals, something that's meaningful to them, something that means a lot to them. That makes sense. Now, the love oracle messages give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and that's what you're attempting to do. That's why I said it's a good thing. That's what you're attempting to do, because I feel like this connection with this message can work through this, can move through this situation or at least give it a chance to give it a chance to and you're both willing you're both willing like I said regardless of what this person is going through or where they're at at the moment they're still in the game they're still in the relationship you know it feels like you're kind of pulling them along pulling you've got the, you know the relationship and them on your shoulders and you're just pushing forward that's what it feels like good on to, good on you that means you really want this that means you're you know, dedicated to, you know, making this work, making this work. So usually we move into part two of the reading, kind of get an idea of see where this moves to for those of you who are interested. I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity on your situation. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye.